Good morning, everyone. I'm Jen Houston, owner of the Artsy Fartsy Gallery. I'm a full-time independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Canmore, Alberta, Canada. Happy Monday, everybody! <laughs> and Andy starts to bark. She says hello, too. <laughs> um, today is Make It Marvelous Monday. And we are going to make it marvelous by creating some cards for somebody else. Um, we're also going to kind of think about um, some things to help make our Monday marvelous because sometimes, you know, Mondays are a little tricky. <laughs> a little tough getting back in the, the work routine or the routine. So um, we're going to work on that for sure. All right. So did everybody see the feature this week? I suppose I didn't even pop it up. No, I did not. Oh, my Lanta. Just hang on here. I will go and grab it. It's going to be a fun one. Uh, da, 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 da. Which one shall I use? This one. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Here is the feature this week. We're going to play with this outdoor barbecue set. Isn't it neat? I think it's fun. Um, and it also gives me a chance to play with my absolute favorite all-time stamp. Um, some of you know which one that is, and some of you will learn which one it is for me. <laughs> oh, Mary Ellen's off to the dentist. No worries. I'm on replay. <laughs> oh, man. That is not my happy place. But, you know, when it's all done and said, over. It, uh, it's usually a good thing. <laughs> Not good for your wallet, but it's a good thing. Yep. I see everybody popping on and saying good morning. Good morning to all of you too. Thanks so much for saying hello and telling me where you're from. If I haven't met you before, um, if you haven't met these lovely ladies, feel free to chit chat amongst yourselves because they are great gals. And uh, if you're looking for some friendships, this is a great place to be. All right. Yep. Some people, and we have people chime in from all over the world, which is kind of fun. So uh, if you want to meet somebody from, meet a pen pal, <laughs> a card pal, um, that's probably doable too. If you want somebody from kind of, you know, another country or somewhere far away. Um, so yes, back to this stamp set. I'm excited because um, I'm first off needing a Father's Day card or a couple Father's Day cards. And you know, I know a lot of people are always kind of searching for masculine kind of sets. And this definitely is a set that lends itself to that. So I've had to have a tooth pulled for a year now and I keep avoiding it, anxiety. <sighs> yeah. It's really, I don't know, my, the teeth that I've had pulled are really, it's probably one of the easier <laughs> things I've had done. Um, yeah, um, it definitely hurts less than the pain you would be experiencing. Let me just put it that way. Um, but yes, it's hard. It's hard. And then you've got that gap there that, you know, you're not used to for a bit, but, um, but pain definitely goes away. <laughs> which is nice okay so barbecue um let me get my screen set hey i forgot just a minute ah, i got some happy mail let me share that with you that's when everyone tells you it's, it really is you'll, you'll you'll feel like this you'll just feel like somebody's going mm, on your cheek but not like cranking it in half or anything and that's it. It's really, really simple. I promise. I promise. Like I say, it's probably easier than a cleaning even. It is. Uh, I understand. But once you have it done, you will feel better. You, absolutely. Absolutely. I totally agree. It's worth it. It really, like just a, a little, uh, easy peasy. Okay. Oh, here's a little piece of Piece of, uh, I got some happy mail all the way from my hometown, Brandon, Manitoba. Um, thank you, Nora. This is beautiful. And all the, oh, the kind words. You are so sweet. Nora's the one who always 
Um, I don't know if you've seen on Sharing Sunday, she shares her little, her rocks that she paints. I think they're absolutely stunning and I love how she just leaves them all over the town or all over the place and people find them. I know that here there's a whole, I think it's called Canmore Rocks or something and there are people that do that here as well and so what you can do is actually they put their uh, web page on the back of the rock and so they leave the rocks all over the place, people pick them up. They tell them, uh, you can write into the website or whatever and tell them where you found the rock. And then they, in turn, take that rock, hide it somewhere. They may take it to another town. They may take it to another country. And then it continues and continues. And you can see where this little rock gets to go and travel. So I think it's so cool. My mom found one in Arizona. So she brought it back to Brandon with her. And um, so I went on the website and said, you know, this is now in Canada. <laughs> and then um, I took it here to Canmore and left it out here and said, oh, well, look what I found here in Canmore. So, uh, you know, it's kind of neat. The little rock will travel all over the world. And then I left it somewhere and somebody will, you know, pick it up and say, oh, what's this? And it's, it's such a neat little surprise throughout your day, right? And oh my goodness, she... It, she has gotten so good at painting the little scenes on those rocks. She's incredible. She's got so much detail on there and they're, they're really fun. So I love that, um, that hobby, that idea, that way of blessing others. I think that's, that's so neat. So there you go. That's a new little, little idea. If that sounds interesting to you, you can always check out, you can, I'm sure Nora would be fine with it if you messaged her. Um, you'll see her on Sharing Sunday every week. Usually she she puts a pile of her rocks there, a picture of her rocks that, that she's got ready to give out. So that's to her if you have any questions or want to get started on something like that. So anyway, she sent me a card and I thought, oh, that's so sweet. So I, cards aren't her thing, but you know, art is. So I love it. So I'm going to put that on my, my little card wall back there. Thank you. Okay, on to this set. All right, so I first, when I first looked at it, I thought, oh, what am I gonna do? I get stressed out when there are little images. Um, but then I looked on Pinterest and kind of, you know, oh, I think, I think we'll be all right. So, um, and it's a great chance to color in with our stamp and blends, which is really great. And I want to play with that um, silver foil. So the this week, the feature is if you purchase the stamp set, which is really inexpensive, um, then, or place a $30 order, I'm gonna send you some of the silver foil in the mail. So there you go. Cute little sayings, love is in the air. Oh wait, that's the barbecue. <laughs> You're invited, I think that's neat. Well done, isn't that kind of funny? A dad like you is rare. Um, I totally think that you could, it, it would be easy to cut apart and you could always change this word out, right? So you could do a friend like you is rare, a sister like you is rare, you know, a mom like you is rare, whatever. So you could totally change this word out to be what you need it to be. And then holy smokes, it's your birthday. <laughs> so lots of fun. And you know, the ketchup bottle just makes me laugh. I don't know if you saw this, but I was, okay, so this morning I was coloring on a, uh, coloring some things up to be prepared for today. Um, so I've got, it's got a little shrimp, a pineapple, onion, a blob, a mushroom, and then I assume those are green peppers. And I'm like, Kevin, I'm like, look, at, I don't have a hot clue what this blob is. He's like, it's meat. <laughs> I'm like, oh. I suppose that makes sense. So that little blob for me is gonna be meat. I suppose it could be tofu. I don't know. I could be sort of whatever you want, I suppose. <laughs> but I was struggling with that when I'm like, I can't figure out that blob and I don't want to color it the wrong color. So it's a good thing I didn't color it green like I was planning to. <laughs> oh, you're sending Niles a card? Oh, neat. So yes, lots of fun with this this card. Okay, so our 
our first one today that I'm gonna play with is this one. I think you're gonna make it in 45 minutes today. Take earbuds and play your favorite music to drown out the sounds. Yep, that's true, saying a prayer for you. Yeah, those sounds are what, but, but when you're getting a tooth full, you don't have, have a whole lot of sound. I don't know. It's just seriously like a tug on your cheek and then you're done. All right, so I saw this similar idea on Pinterest and I changed it up to be my own kind of version. So I've got, oh, I forgot to give measurements here. So I believe, okay, one and a half inches. I used a pumpkin pie and then I, I don't know if you can see, but I ran it through that brick embossing folder. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's a, it's a big wild one. <laughs> I'm getting out my old jewelry and I'm like gonna, you know, try it out again. Um, here is that neat silver foil. It just, you know, barbecues make me think of foil, the foil, just kind of a steel look, right? And then I have another piece here that is one and three quarter inches, um, just whisper white. These are all measuring at five and a half. So they're the exact length of a card base. I'm gonna go with um, a whisper white, the thick whisper white card base on this one. It just, when, I'm, when I want a card base, I want it a little bit thicker so that it's kind of, you know, stronger, it feels more substantial. So that's why I use thick. I hadn't started using thick until last year and I kind of regret not having used the thick card stock um, earlier on. I know, I'm pretty sure Lisa never buys the thinner Whisper White. I think she just does everything straight on the thick, which is doable too. Okay, so I ran this through, like I said, onto the brick embossing folder. And I saw Ashley Pfeiffer do kind of this idea with the, you know, brick. I thought, oh, that's smart. I love learning from other people, right? So I'm gonna take my smoky, or no, soft suede ink pad, and I'm just gonna kind of grunge this up a little. So I'm just gonna rub a little bit onto those bricks. I'm sure you could use an, uh, a dauber, just to kind of, right? It, looks, it makes it look a little more rustic, I suppose. I almost, almost think I could have, well, let's go. Pumpkin pie. Let's add a little of that in some spots. Ooh, that one is not going to. It's coming out really red and streaky, so I'm just gonna leave that. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Uh, let me just make sure my hands are sort of clean. Good thing I have black pants. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna get out my liquid glue because this is a little bumpy. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do something else first. I'm actually gonna take my Stampin' Blends and splatter. I'm gonna try and try and keep the splatter to this ish area, but um, I better do it before I actually glue the brick thing on. Otherwise, it's gonna end up with a whole bunch of splatter, which is probably okay, but um, we'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna take my dark pumpkin pie. I, I, I like the dark, I just started to also. I've missed some conversation. Woo, sheesh. That was a good flicker one. Okay, so there's my orange. Let's put in a little, uh, re. no, this is I think dark poppy parade. We'll go a little less intense here. <laughs> now, Okay, you just started the first card. All right, this is here's my stamp and blend the yellow. <laughs> uh, it needs to go on my list of things to replace. Yeah, I'm not getting anything here. Let me go with dark mango melody. Let's just add some of that. Yeah, that hits it up nice. Okay. And I think I'm gonna 
add a little gray just to tie in with the barbecue and whatnot. But yeah, I like it. There we go. We've got some poof. We've got, we've kind of muted that bright, bright white card base, right? Looks good. Okay, N now we'll go back to that step that I was talking about. And let's glue this little brick piece right along the edge. And I'm using my liquid glue again because um, it is bumpy and we want the glue to kind of squish into all those layers and stay on our card. Now I'm budding this right up to the edge of the card. Um, the card I saw on Pinterest actually was moved over a little bit. Um, it wasn't brick. It was just a straight piece of paper, uh, cardstock. So where, you know, you, you take things from Pinterest and you make them your own and away you go. Okay, next step. You know, remember all those pieces that I thought, oh, I don't know, it's gonna stress me out. Um, this I saw and I was like, I can do that. I can do that. So I'm gonna get out my basic gray and I'm just gonna stamp these little images all over it, kind of making just a, like a little wallpaper, I suppose. And just randomly, right? Up, down, sideways, crooked. <laughs> So we've got ourselves some steak, some corn, we've got ketchup or mustard, uh, we've got ourselves a shish kebab with all those fun things on there. And an adorable little hamburger. I always tend to be have this hole here. I fill it with the thing, but I know I'm going to end up putting my barbecue over top of it. <laughs> so oh, then you won't get to see the the hamburger. But isn't that easy? You just now made a fun little background. No effort at all. Okay, so. We're almost done. <laughs> I'm gonna hit the 45 minutes today, I, I hope. All right, my next layer is going to be this fun foil. So there again, I'm gonna use my um, liquid glue just because, and, and on the foil papers, the back is kind of a, sh a little bit slippery almost. And so um, it does work better with the liquid glue. I'm just going to place that a little bit over top of that brick and a little bit over top of that white. And then I'm going to come in this in here with this and place that over top like so. foil in half because it is so expensive. It's very expensive. Okay, and now here I was going to put the barbecue popped up. Cutesy tootsy. So I colored this sucker up with the Smoky Slate Stampin' Blends. Um, I also used the Color Lifter just to kind of take off some layers a little bit. Um, that way it just kind of gives it a multi-dimensional kind of look. I went in here with um, soft suede, kind of the wood, wood look there. With There again with the dark and the light version, you can kind of make some dimension to that. And then I just cut it out with scissors. It wasn't that tough at all. Um, it was easy enough to get on the inside of that. I wish they had dies for these little things, but um, frankly it was easy to get done and then I just popped a little bit of pop um, pumpkin pie right in that little temperature gauge I suppose and there there we go um, I do see there's kind of a little break 
in between, oh, my nails are atrocious, in between the barbecue and the stand. So I almost wonder, you could probably just, um, you know, if some people have those short little barbecues, you could probably either just cut it right off at that level, or you could cut it, cut it off at the like kind of short little stubby level. I know we have this kind um, when we go camping. We have just kind of that small version. But yeah, it, it kind of looks very metal-y and, and um, the way, you know, if you put in different layers, the dark and the light smoky slate and then go in with that um, color lifter. Okay, so let's pop this up by using some dimensionals. How was everybody's weekend? How was Mother Day, Mother's Day? Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Okay, I'm gonna cut this sucker in half, I think. Or you could use your mini dimensionals too. I had a big meltdown yesterday. And uh, poor Kevin got the brunt of it. Um, Anyways, it was it was a rough morning, but he then went out and got me some flowers and a mo iced mocha, my one of my favorites, and two brownies from my <laughs> my favorite store. If Lori's watching, she'll know what Fergie's is, but I love the brownies from there, and so that helped make me get a little. Uh, back to normal, if you will. All right, I'm gonna just place this here, off to the side, like so. Now, did I, no, I think I did that for the next card, yes I did. Um, on this one, she had the little stamp, holy smokes, it's your birthday. Now I'm wondering if it's going to get lost if I just stamp it there. Um, I was, well, I suppose we can try it. If it's lost, we can go in with a, you know, a little um, circle die or something and um, put that there. Okay. Let's try it. Brownies would cheer you up too. <laughs> you had a horrendous weekend too? Oh, sheesh. Oh, hmm. I'm sorry to hear that. That's no fun. Yeah. I guess, you know, and sometimes, I don't know if it's a woman thing or if it's just a me thing. You know, I always get high expectations. Oh, you know, it's Mother's Day. Shirley Hill, you know, celebrate that fact. And I don't have children, so I honest to Pete don't really deserve Mother's Day like mothers really do. But I do look after the dog a lot. I'm the one who wakes up in the middle of the night and takes them out. But there again, no comparison with children, but tough. Um, I don't know. I think that's enough. What if we put a little flame here? Maybe if we, we'll try the flame. We'll keep going and then until we make it what we want. Um, I'm gonna use my Stampin' Rate markers. I'm gonna add in some real red. I don't have a Poppy Parade Stampin' Rate marker. I probably should have worked backwards. So let's go in with the yellow. This is the he crushed curry. And then in the middle, let's go in with our pumpkin pie. Just add, uh, kind of blend it all together. And then I'm gonna huff. And put that over top. Now you really can't see that holy smokes, can you? I mean, it, it pops. It pops this layer, but I now can't see. Read, holy smokes, what do you think? Or is it not bad? Maybe it's not bad. I wonder if I, <laughs> here we go. Here we go. 
um, what if I whoops. just to draw your attention to it? I don't know if I use this everyday label punch. As kind of a look here option or hmm, that might be all right too yeah no I like it here actually okay good idea <laughs> it's not a great when you try something new and oh, let's just do this and next thing you know It kind of makes a little base for it, doesn't it? Otherwise, it's just this barbecue floating in there. I like it. Um, what about, I was gonna think about a rhinestone, but mm, I think I'm gonna leave that. Now, Ashley Pfeiffer also did a fun thing. I'm just gonna get this out and ready and time ran away, there it is. Um, some vellum and I need the tulip punch so people come up with all these fun I like the grounding for the grill yeah it kind of it helps doesn't it okay so I love when people come up with just the most bizarre things okay so here's I punched the side with the vellum but I'm going to make that smaller and I it's gonna to be too hard to hang on to so I'm gonna actually make myself a little handle by using a little sticky note um, is that gonna be long enough? we'll try if not I can get a bigger one okay and I just I it's backwards let's try this again <laughs> all right let's throw it in this direction now I don't I don't want that quite as large, so I'm just gonna see how I'm tilting it a little bit. And so look at look what she did. Isn't that smart? Make some some smoke. Or we could use, you know. like a leg <laughs> all right I don't know if you can see that but I think it's cool look at that isn't that neat it's just like this little of smoke <laughs> I think I'm gonna just use a glue dot I had to raise up my glue dots because um, Indy got into them again you think like what is appealing about a glue dot and my tearing tape again. What? I don't I don't know. What is appealing? You'd think it'd be sticky and it'd drive you nuts. What else? I guess it's something different. Something from Mama's art room. Okay, so there's a little puff of smoke. There we go. Adorable. And we didn't even have to color. <laughs> coloring sometimes, it, I mean, I love coloring, but sometimes like there's a lot of detail in here. Um, so pretty easy peasy, right? Well, Lisa Mox, it's your birthday. And then for the inside, I stamped this little flame three times. I had cut a little piece off that um, side there with that brick embossing. I thought, oh, let's just put that on the inside. Ooh, do you see that? Hmm. Might almost be worth having a piece of Whisper White on there first. I mean, I could go on the inside now and, and spray some just because it seeped through a little bit. Stampin' Blends do that, so you just have to be a little bit aware. All right, let's glue that down. Do I have any coming out? 
There we go. And there we have it. So, yeah, holy smokes, it's your birthday. I think well done suits that. <laughs> well done. Good job making it to your age. <laughs> Uh, all right, it's because it's mine. Yeah, maybe it has my smell on it. I don't know. So on the front of the envelope, I just stamped that little fire bit there. And on the flap, of course, just stamp that same kind of idea onto the flap. There we have it. Isn't it cute? It's kind of, ooh, I like it. Kind of grungy, kind of fun. So there we go. Cute. I like it. All right, so for card number two, I'm going to do something very similar. We're going to kind of use that same idea. However, I'm changing kind of some colors up, I suppose. Now, of course, I had to drop the um, envelope in the ink pad. So then I thought, well, just continue drop it again, <laughs> drop it over and over. And so I guess, you know, like barbecues are, are kind of dirty and I don't know, you get charcoal all over yourself. So there we go. We just kind of made, I made a little background for that envelope. And then I sprayed it with the, the red and the orange, can't really see the yellow, but um, there we go. Then of course I sprayed here, I, you know, it was on my fingers. Um, I stamped that. Don't just let that be ketchup. You can make it ketchup and mustard, especially, I think it's French's that has these little, uh, the little bottles. I can't remember. But there we go. So now we've kind of, you know, masked and made it look like it was supposed to be like that. So this is soft suede, soft suede, uh, poppy parade and crushed curry. I then also did the same kind of idea for the card insert, just those two bottles and then splattered. And then, you know, I wiped my hand on it and it's now a little bit grungy. <laughs> my favorite stamp is the Buffalo Check. Love, 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 love. And look how amazing that looks, right? This is barbecue right here. Total barbecue, the red and white. So Poppy Parade on the white perfect okay I've got a card base here of soft suede because I wanted to bring out the steaks so I have that same layer that I, I did before um, I believe this was one and three quarter inch on this one I did not I, I only went five and a quarter as opposed to right to the top and bottom which was five and a half I thought I'm going to kind of switch this up a little bit so that I can end up seeing some of that brown underneath. So this one I did end up using some color, uh, but didn't go wild and crazy. So the corn I stamped in crushed curry, and then I went with my Granny Apple Green Stampin' Blends, and just where the, you know, the husks part is, I just colored that in. The ketchup bottles are easy peasy, just straight poppy parade. Um, here's my my little shish kebab with my meat. <laughs> so colored that, that, that up. It was pretty simple. Um, the hamburger, just kind of concentrating on these layers. I don't know what. Oh, that's too close. I'm not sure what this first layer is. So there's the bun and then there's something in pickles. That's what it is. Pickles. You know, I looked at that how long, couldn't figure it out. And then of course I've got my steak here. I added in a flame and another burger, but um, there we go. So I, you know, jazzed that up. And then I just decided to go around everything in the light pool party. I don't know if you can see it at all, but I think it just kind of, I don't know makes it a shadow, makes it a little more, I'm here, I'm settled. <laughs> so I think these are gonna look cute together. So I've got myself, instead of that brick layer, I'm gonna go with this beautiful check. Then of course I've got my silver foil. So 
I'm almost thinking that I'm going to go kind of like, I'm going to do this one a little bit opposite. I'm going to go all the way across. I'm also going to just put this silver foil la um, layer on in the center-ish. I don't know. Yeah, I think over top. Okay, so that's going to be kind of my my card base, which we can we can get started. Uh, let's glue my favorite down. Yeah, if you don't have the buffalo check, oh, been my favorite for as soon as I saw it, I wanted it, and I did a whole week's worth of classes on just the buffalo check. That was a few years back. Oh, I loved it. Love, love, love. Now, I think this is crooked. The pattern's a little crooked, so <laughs> we'll just make do. Um, and then I'm gonna glue this one down, kind of closer to the right-hand side. So there's kind of, you could have even left it. There's what the yellow corn, see I just did a little practice on the back, just with straight crushed curry. I mean, it could have, could have gone just fine just being like that too, right? All right, now let's just make sure that these are kind of aligned so that when we go in with this layer, now do I leave a little gap? No, because it looks a little crooked. Ah, uh, let's go in with that silver foil. Of course, the silver foil you could emboss too. Uh, the, I don't know what the subtles might look good. The subtles embossing folder. Um, there was that stone. Looks like picnic tablecloth, right? Yes. Absolutely. And I know they have a Canadian tire. They have this tablecloth that looks like this. Um, because last year our condo had a, we usually have a summer barbecue and I decided to decorate, I, I'm, I'm on the social committee and I decided to decorate because they just wanted to do blue and yellow. And I'm like, that's not, that doesn't say barbecue. <laughs> so I'm like, I am paying out of my own money. We are gonna get a nice barbecue. So I did pinwheels, I did like little, I got this tablecloth and cut it up and made little streamer things. And oh, it was, it was, it was beautiful. So it was lots of fun. Okay, so there's my kind of layers. I colored this guy up pretty much the same as I did the last time and cut it out. And I was thinking, you know, I think I'm gonna put the barbecue over here as opposed to here, because it gets lost here, right? Where you can see it a whole lot better when it's on this side. So let's, let's go with that. Um, add my little dimensional pieces. that there, little flap there, mm -hmm. maybe I'll get a real piece here, and a mini, just to make things all fit well, just like that, I suppose I could put one on there, eh, I'm not going to bother. I was also thinking um, if you didn't want to cut this this po these portions out what if um, you had a solid colored background and just took in your stamp and blend and colored this area in the same color as your background I wonder if that would kind of um, kind of tie it in without having to cut it out Maybe an idea. Maybe throughout this week, we'll uh, I'll give that a try. And just to add that in, I'm going to put well done here. I pre-embossed with the white onto the black, which really makes it pop really well. I love how that. Now we can go up here. We can go down there. I think down there make grounds that little barbecue again. I think. Okay. So 
Well, let's put some dimensionals and pop this layer up too. It deserves a little popping. So, I mean, this could be for a grad. This could be for, well done, I don't know, any. You have co-workers who get a, a promotion, if your husband gets a promotion. Um, I don't know. Now, I had a little piece, where'd it go? Of the vellum that I had left over from my tulip idea. Here it is. Maybe we'll just add that on there. Might as well add a little smoke. I suppose I could just cut it out. But if I was to cut that in half, maybe I'll have two. Or I could put a little fire out there too. <laughs> That would be the way I barbecue. <laughs> Cooking is not my strong suit. Glue dots. No, oh, I am a terrible, terrible cook. I don't mind baking. It's a little more precise, I think. I don't know. I just... Oh, Kevin's food just tastes... And he's, he's one of those kind that just, oh, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, just throws things in, and it tastes good. Me, oh, I follow a recipe to a tea. I just, you know, it's still, and then it's so disappointing when it doesn't taste good. Did all this work and, oh, didn't come out right. There, I think we'll just add a little smoke like that. So there we go with our fun vellum. Isn't that cute? If you haven't received yours, hoping that I received You didn't get it yet? We if if you guys don't get it, um then we can extend the date. That's no fun. Did did the US people get theirs? But yeah, we can extend the date a little if, if that's um, not happening. I was queen of the grill at my house until the barbecue died. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, sheesh. Okay, so now I'm gonna glue. You know, I kind of might, I think I'm gonna use that pool party and just outline these little bottles like I did with these items on here, just to kind of make it I don't know if it makes that big of a difference, but just to make it similar. Hmm. Okay, um, so let's, okay, I'm gonna use, although <laughs> it's already a disaster on the back, so I'm just gonna go with it. Sometimes you wanna stick a paper on the inside, a scrap piece of paper, because those Stampin' Blends bleed through, so. You don't want to end up with blue on the back of your envelope. I guess I, I could outline all of these items too. But what are we at? 43! I think I'm going to do it. Okay, so let's put this together. If not, I'm going to come darn close. I guess maybe that's the key, doing two cards as opposed to, you know, six, seven, five. But it's fun and you get started on one and you go to the, you're like oh but what if I change this the next thing you know okay so here is the color version and here is I'm gonna say kind of more the black and white version with a pop of color so I'm curious which do you like better uh, color or you can say no color you got your kit kit in the US and it's made ah sheesh Cindy and you got your kits Roz darn Melissa got hers and the cards made 
Hmm. Okay. Hmm. And I can't even like, there is no, I mean, there's express post, but that cost, I think the lowest would cost $13 to mail. Oh, too much, too much. So we might just have to give a little extra time for our Canadian friends. That's, that's all. And I gotta be like the first day I have to get those out for you guys, I guess. Cat to side, you love them both. So there again, like, you know, just different, but okay. Um, so you don't have to color everything up, or you can, if you want it a little more poppy. Yeah, you guys all liking the color? Neat. Express Post is much faster. It is, is not much faster. No, um, depends where it's going. Um, Usually it's three days. It's supposed to be three days, but they have taken the um, guarantee off of the express post right now. So there we go. Anyway, so there's our cards for today. I hope you had fun with them. Um, I don't, I'm gonna think about who I'm gonna mail these to. Maybe somebody who shared, maybe somebody who um, commented. Tomorrow I am not going to be online. Tomorrow is my team day. And so um, I will be doing a little video for my team. I'm also excited tonight. I'm gonna do our first Zoom meeting all together. I'll get to see everybody's faces. I'm so excited. Um, we're teaming up with with uh, Lisa's team tonight and we're gonna do a catalog, new catalog walkthrough. One of the perks of being a demonstrator, you get to get look through all these things ahead of time, right? Kind of pre-plan, talk about things, talk about a swap. Um, so that'll be lots of fun. So I'm excited to do that tonight. Um, if you want to get in on that, you have all day to join my team, by the way, <laughs> if that interests you. Um, otherwise, if you need a copy of the new catalog, which is on its way, um, I can get that for you if you aren't working with another demonstrator or and you live in Canada. I'd be happy to send that to you. Just send me a little message and I'll get that out to you. Also, let's see, what do we got here? So once again, the feature this week is that cute outdoor barbecue set. And I'm, I'm getting used to spelling barbecue with the C-U-E as opposed to Q-U-E, because <laughs> that's how they spell it on this stamp set. So um, there we go, I guess Canadians and Americans are a little bit different in that regard. Um, but yeah, purchase this stamp set. It's really inexpensive, $26 and or place an order of $30 and I'm gonna send you some of that silver foil which is pricey so if we you know share a little bit of it uh, you can everybody will get some just lots of fun and of course this deal only goes until Sunday so hop on into that also today is Monday you got your bonus mini pizza box <laughs> still no catalogs Okay, because I just put your mini another mini pizza box in your mail in the mail, but that's okay. No worries. No catalogs. That's bizarre. Cause I sent in two packages even. Hmm. So you think one or the other would get to you? Very weird. Hmm. And I did that because of course to make shipping cheaper. If it's too thick, then it has to go as a parcel as opposed to letter mail. And then we jump up into the, you know, high teens, but Yikes. Okay, so today's Mail It Out Monday. And um, I think my extra bonus is if you have a dog, I think I did that today. If you have a dog, you get to pick an extra number. So pick a number between one and 10. It's probably on the post before this video. And um, yeah, you get, you know, if your number's drawn tomorrow, then you will get a chance to get a hand or you will get a handmade card from me so and of course I always have lots of lots of cards on hand to give away um, there again is if you want to place an order I should have put that on before then um, that is 
where you go online. You can always email me, of course, and I've got a new email address that hopefully will be easier to remember and make more sense. Jen Houston Stamps at gmail.com. <laughs> Kevin's like, oh, did you think of that yourself? That's brilliant. I'm like, why? Yes, I did. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's the nicest thing you've uh, said. All oh, your dog passed last November. You have a dog. You have a dog. You can pick two. Oh, I hate that. We had to put our dog down last August. Oh, he was 14. Well, a poor little thing. Yeah, that's hard. I've never cried so hard in my life <laughs> when we had to put him down. Oh, they just capture your heart, don't they? I'm sorry to hear that, Gina. Oh, a few other dogs. Oh, you got a pug. Oh, fun. And labs. I've never had a big dog. We've always just had little, little things, little terrors. They say it's all to do with the owners, which I'm actually not surprised about. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, 17. Oh my goodness. That's an amazing age. Awesome. That's tough. So the mental health Monday, that reminds me of mental health Monday for us. It was to think of things that you are thankful for. Um, and so I was supposed to get you to, which you still can write something that you're thankful for in the comments. Um, I'm thankful for my husband getting me those be whoop, beautiful tulips behind me there. Um, and I'm thankful for all of you as well. You definitely make my week. Um, you are always so generous with your comments and your kindness. It just baffles me. Absolutely baffles me. And so it is an absolute pleasure to pop on here every single day. Don't cry. Don't cry. Anyways. All right. Otherwise, check back tomorrow. I'm going to have jobs that start with the letter G. There's some jobs on there that are probably really thankless jobs. And um, if they got a surprise card in the mail, I'm sure it would just absolutely thrill them. And uh, then, of course, I will send out a little template later on at 10 a.m. and you can give that one a try post a picture of your projects and you'll be placed in your name will be placed in a draw to win a prize and I think it's gonna be a fun it'll be neat to see how you kinda your spin on things because I know you do that and I absolutely love it otherwise I'm gonna see you Wednesday at 10 a.m. when we get a fun <laughs> color combo to work with with this stamp set so Everybody have a great day, have a great Tuesday, and I will see you on Wednesday. Bye.